It started with salamanders, healed horses, and is offering hope to wounded soldiers. A remarkable scientific breakthrough that could change all of our lives, already enabling people to regrow body parts just like other creatures. This process had been in place when a breeze broke his neck. They could have cured him. Lee Spivak sells and repairs radio control flyers like this. One day, while starting a difficult engine... And I said, you need to get rid of that engine. And in doing that, I stuck my finger through the top. The photographs look downright painful. He called his brother, Harvard surgeon and researcher Dr. Alan Spivak. Dr. Spivak sent Lee a patented substance produced by a company he started called Acel Inc. Lee applied the substance, and four weeks later... The finger was completely regrown. Identical, right down to the fingerprint. The way it was growing back was kind of freaky. I thought it would cover itself over, but it was actually growing the sides first. The wound was still basically open until the sides had grown all the way to the top. Many species can regenerate body parts, like the salamander. It can regrow about everything. Dr. Spivak studied them at Kenyon College. His colleague, Dr. Stephen Badalak, did the same at Purdue. Almost by accident, fell upon what today is the only really successful method of growing new tissue. They call it extracellular matrix technology, or ECM. Basically, when the harvested hydrated urinary bladder lining of a pig is placed in the body, its growth factors flip a switch in the the human body, causing adult stem cells to activate, just as they did in the womb. Allow the body to use its innate method of embryologic growth to grow site-specific new cells at the site of an injury or surgery or, or a loss of tissue. This gunshot wound damaged muscle, bone, and skin tissues. It all grew back. In experimental animals, virtually every organ that's been tested has been successful to some degree. We have regrown myocardium of the heart, heart valves. We've regenerated all of the musculoskeletal tissues, uh, ligament, tendon, muscle, bone. This horse ran into a fence. That's the nasal cavity before and after treatment. When we started using it about four or five years ago, when uh, A-cell first came out. Dr. Scott Hopper is a surgeon with Rudin and Brittle in Lexington, Kentucky a cutting-edge, world-renowned medical and surgical hospital for horses. We are fortunate to try some of these products earlier than when we can try them in human medicine. Dr. Hopper has seen mostly positive results with A-cell technology. However... How they exactly work, we don't all know all those answers yet. But there have been cases that do make you start to believe, um, you know, how, how good is it? and uh, how good can it potentially be. It seems like new medical advances are announced almost daily, so you would think doctors would jump at this new technology. Dr. Spivak says no. He says some want to see more testing first, and the rest, they just don't believe it. Yes, very frustrated. Frustrating, yes, but with tremendous strides. ACELS received grant money from the National Institutes of Health, approval from the FDA, and is being tested on injured soldiers at an Army Medical Research Center in Texas. It's been used on half a million people. Both young and old grow new tissue. Extracellular matrices will be to this millennium what antibiotics were to the last. Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News.